please go to this lady. <laughs> she will help you get yourself back on track. Okay, hey. we, love, we love track. Well, you know what? I'm happy you said that. Because <laughs> we're <recording. laughs> Children. I hope we got that. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> So I'm here with my girl and um, I'm going to talk you through a little bit of our journey together as we've been growing her hair back from a period of time where it was not doing so well. Um, just before we get started though, just so you can see, I've already started the blowout. I did not capture myself doing the wash, but I did use the Kevin Murphy Young Again shampoo and followed it with the Young Again rinse, which is just the conditioner. I love these because they contain baobab, which is from a plant, and it is high in omega fatty acids, which keeps the hair super hydrated. I've also used the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In, I talk about this all the time, and as well as the Orbe Royal Blowout, which is a really great lightweight heat protectant. I pretty much use those two um, after shampoo and conditioner products on a lot of my clientele because it is such a great, they're both such great universal products. So a little bit more about my girl's journey. Um, she has come a long way. Her hair is growing in fuller. It is having lots of body and sheen and shine. There is no ring light present. Um, there are lots of windows in the room, but still like her hair is holding lots of uh, natural luster, which is great and a great sign of hair health. You can hear her explain how she thought she was gonna have to get a big chop. <laughs> because I mean, it's just, it's just <clears throat> night and day. It's it's all you should. You took a lot of patience though. You did the you did yeah. the work. Look at but that. I was Star here student. looking in a sad state of affairs, <laughs> thinking that she was gonna, gonna, gonna be bald. Child. Child. Yeah. She was like, "Well, Ready I'm about you? to be one of those bald girls." <laughs> Ready for you to tell me the only way is a big chop. <laughs> I was bracing myself. I know you were. You were ready. You sat in that chair so somber, like right? <laughs> whatever you have to, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. <laughs> She had experienced shedding before that really changed the scope of her hair. And so we had to give her a very thorough haircut and um, yeah, started her on a very comprehensive, strategic plan to get her hair back to where it should be. I really believe in going back to basics when you are trying to rehab your hair. So that means I'm going to make sure that we're using the right products for outside of the hair to nourish, but also I'm in your business. It's like, what are you having in your diet? You know, are you getting water? Are you um, having fatty omega threes? Are you getting collagen? Are you up on your vitamins, your vitamin D, your zinc, your um, B vitamins, especially? And um, once we have that, then it's like, okay, so what is our regimen? Are we tying our hair up? Are we sleeping in uh, silk or satin? You know, um, are we getting our ends trimmed? So you can see now that I am giving her a little dusting just to keep up on the ends as it grows out to maintain the heaviness at the bottom. But yeah, everybody's plan isn't gonna look the same. Um, I like to make sure that it fits your lifestyle and that it fits your goals. So once I knew what she needed and what she wanted, it was much easier for me to give her a plan that fit her. The most important thing for me to tell my clients though is to keep it simple. Try not to overcomplicate the process, the strategy, and that's why I always say just go back to basics. Um, and that usually never fails us. What did grandma do? Because when grandma was doing our hair, everybody had hair, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, so now I am just doing a little bit more of a split in trim. 
she has a couple of um, layers that we are growing out so I just want to make sure that all of those ends are nice and healthy you can see though the beautiful luster in her hair I love 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 when hair has that natural sheen we didn't put any oils or like um, shine sprays just yet I don't I'm not against those I definitely use those but um, she just didn't need it and her hair is looking very fabulous um, it has a really great sheen to it and it's responding very well to the curls so we're just putting in some body curls with the flat irons and that's because they kind of they hold really well for her she can easily pin curl her hair or wrap her hair and hold the style I like to keep the root area more smooth just to keep it a little bit more modern so she can leave without you know having it curled all the way up to the root looking like Auntie Shirley actually I have Auntie Shirley and she's fabulous so grandma I don't know <laughs> So I'm just going to go through and finish curling her. I do like to do around the face a little bit looser. So that it's a little bit more just um, like cascading curls around her face frame. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. You can also see her color. We just did her color. And uh, we just do a natural um, brown. It's a beautiful mocha and we usually keep her ends a little bit lighter so it'll have a very nice natural tone towards the ends and that is just to keep a nice glow around her face so you can see I popped in this video this was um, I think like the second appointment after we gave her a nice haircut but you can just see the difference you can see the difference in length and luster even the way her hair is holding the curl she's come a long way and I am just so happy and so proud of her so while I'm doing the finishing touches thank you guys for watching and listening let me know what you want to see next bye